Hey, what's going on everyone? Mark Bryce here. Uh, it's been a while. My apologies. I haven't posted a video for a very long time. Uh, I've been a little bit busy, but uh, finally I got some work done. And um, today I'm going to show you guys how to install Bluetooth for your iPad mini mount. Now I made a video on how to uh, install and how to fabricate an iPad mount for your iPad on your dashboard. But I never really showed you guys how to connect that iPad to your car stereo. So today I'm going to show you some of the goods that I have Alrighty, here. So here's a product that I purchased. My apologies for opening it up. Uh, I already have installed this onto my car, but I didn't really hide the wires. So I'm going to get started with, with that today just to show you. So this is a Belkin Car Audio Connect. It's a Bluetooth for your car stereo. So you have your iPad mount mounted onto your dashboard and you want to hear music you want to watch your videos you want to hear it especially so what I did is I purchased this for that reason but also if somebody decides to call me all I have to do is use this remote and click on it and then I can hear uh, the receiver and they all oh, they could hear me and I can hear them we can speak through this right little hole here you can see that little hole right there that is excuse me excuse my fingers Jesus uh, excuse me for my ashy fingers so this is little hole here, this is for your, um, so they can, it's like a little microphone, they can hear you. There's also a remote if you want to switch it from phone call to music. Let me show you what this came with. This is your 12 volt plug. Plug that in here. And this little guy. This guy, oh, there goes my lotion, look at that. Okay, this is what I need. I should have put this on first before I made this video, either way. And you connect this wire here. Uh, so, there. Just like that, very simple. And then what you got left is this guy right here. Now this, I recommend you put it as close as possible to your mouth. Well, not to your mouth, but as close to your head so when you're driving, your receiver can hear you clearly. You don't want to place it somewhere around here, because you know, as you're driving, there are there is going to be some road noise, so you you are trying to prevent that as much as possible. Uh, maybe I'll plan on placing it here, but uh, I kind of want to hide all wires. This is one of the reasons why I'm making this video. Uh, so if you guys are going to go with this type of um, equipment, just make sure you plug it in as so, and then you can open up your whole uh, dashboard and hide the wires. That's what I'm going to do now. Let me get started. All right, guys. So I'm back at it again. If you see my other videos, uh, especially the one with the uh, how to make the uh, iPad mini mount, you'll see how I took out this whole part here. In order to get through all this, you need to take out your where is it? Let's take out your shift knob. Now this is the whole thing. This is an aftermarket Equas shift knob. I kind of want it to be a little different. You take this, you pop this up. Make sure that you have this on neutral when you pop it up. And then you take out, where is it? Piece. You take out this guy right here. That's your shift console. Make sure you take that out. And after you take that out, you'll have a more open space area there. And then I also have these two. I took these two screws out. But I realized, I just remembered that there's also another screw hidden inside over here. And I believe there's another one over here. I got to check. But once you take out those screws there, you know, all you have to do is just deal with this. Once you deal with this, you can pop this all out. And then you can connect your AUX cord through here. Excuse me, your AUX cord through here and your 12 volt adapter here. And then hide the wires through all, all this. That's what I'm gonna do now. Excuse the mess. Excuse me all for all this uh, dirtiness. All right, guys. So I'm showing you my process here. Uh, I decided to put the adapter of the Bluetooth inside here, the one that's on the front of the console, instead of the one that's inside your um, compartments. I'm not gonna place it here. I'd rather have it here to give me enough more wire to figure out where I would want to place this um, this device, the uh, the remote and microphone. Now I'm gonna place it here. However. There's no AUX cord here. So I'm gonna use this guy right here. Excuse me. I'm gonna plug this. This is the only room you have for your AUX cord. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect that with this right here or so. And then, as you can see, this wire here gives me enough space 
to plug this guy all the way inside your AUX cord that was placed here. So I think that as crazy best. as this may sound, I want to make a hole right here so I can hide the AUX cord and then feed it through the interior of my dashboard. So there you go. I made the hole there. I'm gonna have it feeding through here, all along through to the inside, and at the bottom of my um, what is that? Your outlet. Your hidden compartment, that's where all the wires will be hidden. All right, so let me just finish up. Now. Hey guys, I'm just showing you the process here. I'm almost done. I hid all the wires inside the dashboard. I connected my iPhone um, USB charger to the outlet to make sure it's working properly. And my phone is being charged as I'm recording this. Uh, everything's working properly. So this turns on. Yeah, everything's working properly here. So I'm good to go. All I gotta do is just plug this. This is for the clock and what else? Oh, it's my heaters, uh, seat heaters. So I'm pretty much almost done. I'll close it up and then I'll do one final clip. Finally done. So this is the Belkin, Belkin car audio Bluetooth device. It's finally done into my car, I installed it. It took about two, maybe close to three hours, but it's finally done. I'm glad to say, I keep saying done because this is a project that I have been posting for a good two, three months. And I said, when the weather gets warmer, I'll decide to do it and it's done. Now, let me show you how I did it. All the wires are hidden within the compartment. Just turn on the iPad mini. There's the remote. And if you can look at it, you see it clearly that the microphone is facing directly to me. Reason being is because then when I get a phone call, they can hear my voice much more clear. Now, it also works as the remote, as I said before. So when you're driving and you don't want to touch your dashboard as you're listening to music, Let's see if we can just press play. Here we go. There you go. Let's see if you see it here. Here's the uh, outlet that came with the device. It's all well hidden with inside the compartments, inside the dashboard, so to say. And here's the AUX cord all the way over here. So now I still have this to play with if I ever wanted to charge something else and just have it within this compartment. But I have to say, it took a while, but I'm glad. So now everything looks flush. It seems like I had a Bluetooth built inside this car, although it's aftermarket. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Yeah.